every touchdown that I score in this game, I will be able to take an older player and put them back in their prime at a 99 overall and add them to the team. And then simulate an entire NFL season to see if we can win the Super Bowl. And a huge shout out to RBT for the video inspiration for this one. Make sure to go check out his channel in the description down below. Let's see which team is going to get a bunch of prime 99 overalls. And this team doesn't need more help, but it's going to be the Kansas City Chiefs. I'm trying to think of players that I want to upgrade right off the bat. Oh, this could be a dot. What a throw right there by Patrick Mahomes. Little sidearm caught by Marquez Valdez scaling. I think the first thing we want here is probably going to be an elite number one wide receiver. I'm thinking somebody like Julio Jones back in his prime. After that first horrible play, we have moved it into Cardinals territory. This is on all pro. I'm looking for Kelsey, who is wide open already at the 11 yard line. I'm going to call that same exact play. I'm going to see if Kelsey can get open here. Kelsey, what a move! High pass, keeps the catch. Touchdown, Travis Kelsey. We get our first player. And I will go ahead and add a 99 overall prime Julio Jones to the team. So we get the first guy that I wanted. Now, what should we go for next? Oh, these guys are getting so wide open. This Cardinals defense, this might be really good for us. We might be able to get like eight or nine players. If our defense can make some stands, I'm not playing any defense in this. I'm letting the CPU take over. If we can just keep getting on offense, we're going to be looking pretty good. Kadarius Tony is playing well. This is the first time I'm doing a video with Mahomes. This is pretty awesome getting to use one of the best quarterbacks, if not the best quarterback in the entire NFL. He is throwing dot after dot. There's Juju. I'm starting to think maybe we go ahead and we add a guy that's playing for the Cardinals defense right now. That was my worst play. We have J.J. Watt. J.J. Watt in his prime is easily a 99 overall. And he just announced his retirement. This was his final NFL season. I can't think of a better time. What a throw that was. And we're at the one yard line. And we can run this ball in. Come on, Jarek McKinnon. Get in there. Jarek McKinnon. He gets stood up at the one. I probably like Juju here on the slant. Or maybe Miko Harman. Miko Harman wide open. It's our second touchdown. Congratulations to JJ Watt on a great career. A three time defensive player of the year at his 99 overall prime is on the team. Cardinals drive actually resulted in some points there. It took me a little bit to get the ball back. So that's going to lose a little bit of time here. So we got to get a good drive. But Mahomes is already 162 yards passing. Juju's getting pressed. You can't press Juju Smith Schuster. Haven't used Kelsey in a few plays. I think this is the time probably to do it. No, he's one on one with Isaiah Simmons and he's all over him. But go to Miko Harman. Hardman with about 97 speed. This is pretty easy for All Pro, I'm not gonna lie. And just so you all, I'm not lying, it's on All Pro and I can't change the difficulty in a franchise game. On to another defensive player of the year. We're gonna go with Stephon Gilmore to give us our elite corner one. If we could score eight touchdowns, I would really like this team's chances to go win a Super Bowl. It really just depends on how much time we're gonna have here because the Cardinals have been getting some points now. But over 250 yards passing for Mahomes and we're not even at halftime yet. Just insanity. And another great throw. This is what happens when you have a good QB. He's able to get the ball away in the times that I need it. So much better than when we use Kirk Cousins in the other video. And there's Travis Kelsey. Oh, he fumbled though. No. No. That is such a bummer. I should have played on conservative. I can't believe he just fumbled. We were about to punch in another touchdown. That makes us lose some time. We do have a little bit of time before the half, and we have timeouts. The only down part of this is that if our defense doesn't get these guys off the get field off quick the enough, field. this is what happens. We get left for 33 seconds. Trying to go over the top here. We don't have much time. Field goals do us no good. I'm going to try Juju one-on-one. -on -one. Come on, Juju. Can we get a PI? That would be a huge pass interference. We got a lucky PI call. Real quick, everyone, before we get back into the video, only about 4% of the people watching this video right now are actually subscribed. If you're enjoying the content you're seeing, make sure to subscribe to the channel. But let's get back into the video. I got to go one-on-one to -on -one Kelsey. And he can actually get out of bounds. That is huge at the 7. I want to say Kelsey's going to get wide open here. But I just put him on a streak. Snap it quick. No, he's not open. Can I go to Jarek McKinnon? I can. He's carried into the end zone. If he didn't do that, I don't know if we would have had time to get another snap off. Our defensive line is going to be absolutely stacked. We're now going to add a Super Bowl MVP, Von Miller. What a huge first half. Four touchdowns, four players in their prime coming to the team. And Kadarius Tony is a man possessed right now. We got the four we needed in the first half. Can we replicate that? Can we get eight total players here? We've been clean to no turnovers besides the fumble. And that's something I can't really control. That's just unlucky that he fumbled. I gotta go high pass here. Oh, and that's our first pick. I was trying to go one-on-one -on -one to Kelsey. That is a bummer. Luckily, though, that doesn't lose us a player. It just makes us have to go back down the field, which we can pretty much do quickly with this team. Oh, we need our first touchdown of the half here. Where am I gonna go? I'm gonna go to Kelsey and Travis. Kelsey, we're back at about the 36. Oh, Kelsey's X-Factored up. Does he have double me? I think he has double me. Give me one-on-one, -on -one, Travis Kelsey. High pass. What is going on? What was that bounced off of like three players' hands? Just thankfully it wasn't picked. 
That could have been way uglier. I think Tony should get open right up the seam here. If I pass lead it left with Mahomes. Yes, sir. Come on, Mahomes. Get this one in the end zone. Valdez scaling pass lead it right. And there's our first prime 99 of the second half. We definitely want some help to protect Patrick Mahomes, even though the offensive line is great. Let's add 99 overall Tyron Smith. And our defense made a huge stand here, I guess. Or they turned over the Cardinals, whatever happened. Because we have the ball at the 30 four yard line of the Cardinals for our next play with almost no time coming off the clock. Mahomes is about to be over 500 yards passing. Get it to Tony. These bubble screens never work in this game. I don't know why the catching animations just don't work well. We don't get into the end zone there, but we're looking forward here. Maybe, oh, Travis Kelsey's out of the game for some reason. Not really sure why, but Jared McKinnon is wide open. Can he break one tackle? He can. I like Tony one-on-one -on, -one on the outside. Tony on the slant, and he makes the catch. Next, we'll take a little piece of the Legion of Boom. Bobby Wagner's back at his 99 overall prime form. Cardinals just had a pretty good drive, so we get the ball back finally. Miko Hardman is wide open. Oh, they tried to make the catch. Buda Baker, he tried to pick that one off, and we get a one-play <laughs> touchdown for our seventh of the game. Why not give Patrick Mahomes another elite? wide receiver from the 2010s. It's going to be 99 overall DeAndre Hopkins. Luckily, Arizona punched it in, though, and they kicked an onside kick, so we do get the ball back. I don't know if we're going to get nine out of this, though. I don't know. I easily could have had a clean game, though, if I didn't make those two stupid throws. Maybe Kelsey for one more after the two-minute warning. We still do have timeouts. Let's highball this. Kelsey's open, and he holds on to it for the eighth touchdown. Lastly, the Chiefs can always use a better run game, so let's go with 99 overall David Johnson. He had a 2,000 yard from scrimmage year once. We actually got the ball back with 33 seconds, and Mahomes has bazooka. I'm going to throw this thing as far as I possibly can and hope that Miko Hardman can go and get it, and he actually got his hands on the football. Ball. Are they really playing prevent defense with 19 seconds left? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get over the top. We're going to try our best. We got two plays here, maybe three. We have two timeouts. Miko Hardman. And I just threw a pick. All right, that's game. But we do get 899 overalls. This is the Chiefs offense before we make any upgrades. And this is the new Chiefs offense. Two wide receiver ones, Tyron Smith, Travis Kelsey, and Patrick Mahomes. And this is the Chiefs defense before we make any upgrades. Then I don't know if this defense is even going to give up a point with Chris Jones, Vaughn Miller, J.J. Watt on the D-line and Stephon Gilmore as our cornerback one. And before we go ahead and simulate to halfway of the season to see how this team is doing, we have to check out at least a little bit of this first offensive drive. We're obviously back in Arizona because this is the new franchise with the new team. But just look at this offense. Mahomes X-Factored. You have Julio X-Factor, Travis Kelsey X-Factor, DeAndre Hopkins with a superstar ability. D hops in motion. Little touch pass to DeAndre Hopkins, and he'll pick up some yards. There is a very good chance that this team goes 17 to 0. Is that going to be to Clyde? That is going to Clyde with David Johnson on this team. They give it to Clyde for 12. Could be the final play of this first drive. Third and 19. I feel like I expect this team to score a touchdown every time they have the ball, but I guess that's just not realistic. But maybe it is, because he goes, I think that is to Julio Jones, but it's broken up. We checked out the offense. We have to check out the defense here. With Chris Jones, J.J. Watt, Von Miller on the D-line, full abilities pretty much. And they let James Conner pick up a first. We'll watch a couple plays here. Where's Stephon Gilmore? He's at the top of the screen. Bobby Wagner's out there too. He doesn't have a superstar ability, but he is out there. Too many guys to give abilities to. I try to limit it. That way it wouldn't be too overpowered. This will be the final defensive play that we watch, regardless if they pick up the first down or not. Can someone sack this man? The offensive line of the Cardinals is playing amazing. And Hollywood Brown's going to take that to the 36. In a surprise, the Chiefs are not the number one seed in the NFL. They're not even the number one team in their division. The Chargers are 5-2. and two. With the tiebreaker, Chiefs have some work to do. I thought we built the perfect team. Mahomes, 1,900 yards passing through seven games and 19 touchdowns and three picks. David Johnson with 474 rushing yards. The receiving game, I expected Julio or Hopkins, I think, to do better. But Kelsey's leading this team in receiving. Really shouldn't be surprised. They have the chemistry here. Almost. 500 yards receiving D Hop, Juju, and Julio Jones only in the 300s. The Chiefs picked it up though because they wound up finishing the season 14 and 3 and are the second seed in the AFC. Mahomes throws over 5,000 yards and 51 touchdowns to seven picks. This offense came alive in the second half. David Johnson winds up running for 1,500 yards and 23 touchdowns. This team had three 1,000 yard receivers, almost four with Kelsey having 991, Julio 1,078, Hopkins 1,068, and Juju. 
Gio with 1,005. They went 14 and 3, but it doesn't give them the one seed, so they have to face the Browns in the wild card round. We're going to watch a little bit of this first drive in the wild card round. Then after this, we're going to super sim this game to the end. And then as we get further into the playoffs, we'll jump in, in the key moments. But Mahomes, first and 10. He's going to juju over the middle. They're going to go empty here. Hopkins in the slot. We have Julio at the bottom of the screen. I would love to see one of them make a catch. Looks like he's going that way. No, he's actually going to go. Is that David Johnson out of the backfield? I can't tell. They should dominate this Cleveland Browns team. I'm looking forward to watching them play the Ravens. I can't believe the Ravens finished 15 and 2 with the one seed. But D Hop, D Hop gets to the three yard line, breaking a tackle. What did they lose? One game? The Chiefs in the last like 10 games, going 14 and 3. And they're about to score right here. David Johnson with 21 touchdowns, I believe, in the regular season gets to the one yard line. Will they go back to him or let Patrick Mahomes throw it here with 51 touchdowns? Mahomes throws Juju touchdown. This Chiefs team has put it on. The Cleveland Browns, they're up 41 to 10. It ends 41 to 17. This Chiefs team is too good. We'll be seeing them in the divisional. In the divisional, a lot of good teams in the AFC. We have a 12 and 5 Colts team. We're going to go ahead and super sim this one. I think the Chiefs probably should win this one too by a lot. 14 nothing already. The Chiefs do give up a touchdown though. The defense has started to play really good for this team though. 21 to 7, 28 to 7. Colts are trying to come back, but this one's just not happening. 28-13. Hold on a second. Nope. Chiefs get the ball back. And we'll be seeing the Chiefs in the AFC Championship. This is the matchup we expected to see. I did not expect Baltimore to go 15-2. Let's see what happens. Unless the Ravens made any big acquisitions, it's just the normal Ravens team we see right now that won a wild card spot in the real NFL. But in Madden simulations, anything could happen. Lamar Jackson must have went crazy. We'll see if he winds up winning MVP or if it's Mahomes. But we have to see who wins the AFC Championship first. Who's going to the Super Bowl? That's more important. Mahomes is slinging it and Juju with a catch. The Chiefs have found their way into Ravens territory, though, in the opening drive. It's second and inches from the 35-yard line. A wide open Travis Kelsey. There's a ton of great wide receivers on this team. But you cannot forget about the best tight end in football, Travis Kelsey. Who wants it more? Who's going to the Super Bowl? We will jump in and actually check out a little bit of defense, too, in this game. And then we're going to super sim to the end. Mahomes all day. All day to throw it is DeAndre Hopkins. We see our first touchdown here from DeAndre Hopkins, the 99 prime D hop. We're going to hop into the super sim. Chiefs wind up turning over the Ravens on downs. Chiefs get it back, make it 14 nothing. But here come the Ravens, 21-7, 24-7. I don't think anybody's going to beat this team. 31-14. to Yeah, this one should be over. If the Chiefs score any more points, yeah, this one's done. We'll be seeing the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And for the Super Bowl, it is going to be Chiefs 49ers. Here we go. Super Bowl 57, Glendale, Arizona, where this team was actually made. We scored all these touchdowns in this stadium. This is what built this team. And here we go. The Chiefs are ready. Trey Lance, I guess, is cubing for the 49ers because it's Madden. The Lombardi Trophy's on the line. Let's see who wins. And we will watch most of the first drive here in the Super Bowl, just like we've been doing. And then we're going to jump out and super sim. Mahomes, play action. The gift to David Johnson. The fake, he fires deep, and he's almost picked off. That was the worst throw I've seen. That was a crazy call right there. That was a really bad throw. He threw that into double coverage pretty much. No one was near that ball. But he'll throw it again. This time, Kelsey. And now they're starting to move. Chiefs find themselves here in a third and 11 early in this game. 49ers defense has some playmakers. Nick Boza, Fred Warner. This team is good. This is not going to be an easy win. But Mahomes, all day to throw. He's going deep. And he looks for DeAndre Hopkins. And it's broken up. Now we watch this team on defense. And the 49ers actually have the ball at the 29-yard line of the Chiefs. They're threatening. They have Christian McCaffrey. They have Debo. But we have, who is that? Chris Jones going to make the play? Who just came up with that sack right there? Who just sacked Trey Lance? That is a huge sack. I believe it's Chris Jones. Chris Jones tackles Trey Lance from behind. 49ers easily have three points here if they just play it smart. They don't turn the ball over here. They have three points no matter what. But Trey Lance is looking for more. And he has Brandon Ayuk. And Brandon Ayuk takes it to the four. Great option. Trey Lance. A walk-in touchdown. He walked into his teammate for some reason. But he gets on the board. And just like that, Chiefs are up seven. Chiefs have the ball back. Some defensive stands from both teams. Chiefs get a touchdown. Make it two touchdown game. 49ers get a field goal, but right here, it's second and seven in the fourth quarter. An 11 point lead already, and the Chiefs are threatening again. This is pretty much the dagger drive. David Johnson gets it. If he picks up a couple first downs, this one's over. If the Niners want any chance to possibly come back and win this, they have to keep the Chiefs to a field goal right here. 
But David Johnson, the hole is huge. And David Johnson, an easy 15 to 18 yard pickup right there. David Johnson might be the biggest story of this entire team. He gets the ball. He's looking for his third touchdown of the Super Bowl, and he has three touchdowns in this game. And I think that's pretty much going to do it. That was the dagger, and that is it. The Chiefs have won the Super Bowl. The prime team getting everybody back in their prime. I'm not going to say I didn't expect it because this team was disgustingly good. And here comes a Lombardi trophy. A great team. The podium is ready. Mahomes is going to waste this. We couldn't have gotten a better team to start off with. Maybe the Niners if we want to get a little bit more lucky. They have a lot of playmakers already, but when you have a team with Patrick Mahomes and you give him a 99 prime Julio, D Hop, all these guys, this is what happens. The Chiefs are Super Bowl champions. That's gonna do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new. In the comments down below, let me know what challenge, what video do you want to see next? Peace.